coming to a very very important part of you know and learning any tool or maybe any technology i'll say which is you know certification now guys see as you know we are all experienced it professionals certification you know adds an, an official stamp to your capability isn't it guys so i mean when you go to market to purchase something right you see something you know some branding you know, branded stuff right so what the branded stuff you know assures you that okay yeah this thing would be you know of good quality tested and certified and all right same thing is in certifications also right any technology if you clear a certification there it adds a official stamp that yes this guy knows about the you know, technology or tool so talking about the certifications and you know power automate we have other certifications other tools power automate has a certification called pl500 which is microsoft power automate rp developer i'll talk briefly about the power platform also before we you know, move on to the power automate special certification so guys in case you don't know power automate is one of the component of the you know broad power platform from microsoft so you have power automate you have power bi there is power virtual agent okay so there are three four components which collectively form power platform okay now coming to power automate the certification which you need to clear is pl500 there are other certifications also for power bi okay power virtual agents we will not talk about that right now on the scope of the session but we will talk about pl500 now some some details about the exams okay so this power automate of course it's a you know uh, it's having a price it's not free i believe but you know pl500 so pl500 is the naming scheme common for you know all the power platform certification there's pl100 there's pl200 300 i think 400 is also there pl500 is for power automate and then there is a global power platform certification called pl900 and this will focus on pl500 so it will cost you 5600 and in the image you can see it's 4800 but when you will you know schedule it it will cost you 56 which is 4800 plus 18 percent gst so 4800 plus 800 5600 and you can schedule it with pearson ue center in pune i'm sure there would be two or three centers around your house so there are multiple ways you can attempt it i mean if you want to go to the test center to you know take the exam that is also an option if you want to go to uh, I think there is a uh, view port or certi port organized uh, test center. You're there also. You can go, and also you can attempt it from uh, your uh, or your multiple system also, of course. But my suggestion would be to take it from you know test center because that will remove the you know hassle of you know taking care of all that. There's no technical glitch, you know, electricity outage and all that. So you can go to Pearson Fuey. I'll show you how you can schedule it. Now, very important thing what kind of questions come in this so i'll compare it with bp guys in bp you have most of the question in mcqs right but there is a slight change here in pl500 there are mcqs and there would be multiple choice questions and also along with that there are some questions in which you will have to you know select multiple choices and also select them in sequence i'll show you and the some of the sample questions i've gathered from from the you know some websites i'll show you towards the end and its total duration would be 120 minutes and it it's not having you know some fake number of questions for every candidate the question would be between 40 to 60 questions yeah slightly you know mysterious way from microsoft not you know providing it you know in a, in a direct way that okay you will be having these many questions but yeah it's kind of slightly you know dynamically uh, created test you will have between 40 to 60 questions and what happens is in the beginning you will have some case studies so some case studies you know uh, might have less questions some case studies might have different questions it all depends on your know, from exam to exam i mean the instance of the exam to other instance any queries here guys anyone no okay i will take silence as no moving on to the next part the registration part so what you have to do is so there is a microsoft learn portal where you have to register and if i click here just a second so if i click here this is the link if you want guys i can share that into 
the chat, scroll a bit down. So this is the link which will you know redirect to the Pearson VOE portal where you can schedule your exam. So click on schedule exam, it will you know ask you to fill all the details, the regular stuff, and then you need to select in what way you want to attempt the exam. Okay, then pay the exam fee and select the center where we want to select, you know, take the exam, select it. Of course, your time slot and when you go to the exam, you will have to, you know, take one ID along with you, uh, preferably something which will have signature also, otherwise you might be having, uh, you, you might have to submit two IDs, one for just face, one for signature. Maybe if you guys have, uh, you know, uh, DL, DL would be okay because it contains both uh, photograph as well as signature at the back, okay. Also, other would be also okay. They will take your. I mean, in case you are not attempting any exam on Pearson earlier, that's why I'm you know, sharing all these details. You need to take your uh, ID. They will take your digital auto uh, signature, and uh, they will take a photograph, and then you will be allowed to take the exam. And also, uh, please note, you will not be allowed to you know take anything in your pocket inside the examination room, and they will ask you to you know put all the things i mean in case you are not attempting any exam in for this way earlier I'm just sharing on for that part for that reason uh, they will be you know asking you to call order all the things in a locker and then give the key to you and then you can attempt the exam you will be given a a, a scratch pad and a, and a marker so that you know, you do want to make some calculations and or you know, note down something for that purpose uh, how many attempts do we have in this exam uh, as far as I know, there is no, you know, cap on the maximum number of attempts you can take. But there are some conditions for a retake. For example, between the first attempt and the next retake, in case, you know, someone is not able to clear it, unfortunately. There is 24 hour minimum gap required. I think that would be, you know, uh, anyway would be there. You won't be, you know, attempting maybe on, you know, immediately next day. But apart from that, I believe for the third or maybe like the fourth attempt, there is a duration like I think it's five or ten days minimum before we you can you can you know retake it for the second or third time. Any additional charges? Yes. I'll tell you. Uh, you know, I'll share one suggestion with you. So I saw it. You know, after I cleared it, then I you know I was just checking some other details. So I found that. Pearson or maybe Microsoft is, you know, uh, selling a package for around, uh, if I convert it to INR, it was around 6500. So what they were doing is they were bundling up one retake attack along with your regular exam. It was called some uh, replay package or replay option, something like that. It was there. I don't you know, remember the exact details. So if you compare the two attempts, you know, 5600 to 5600. In, and compare it with you know 6500 or 7000 for two attempts that was of course you know cheaper if you purchase a regular exam again so please uh, check for that also i saw it somewhere on the microsoft website i don't have the details right now but definitely that option is there and uh, only if you uh, fail the first one then only you're about you know allowed to take the retail but yeah coming to your uh, original question as far as I know, I don't see anywhere on the uh, website or the portal. Microsoft has mentioned that these are the, you know, this is the maximum cap for your attempt. Now, if you want to check the actual, you know, the detailed uh, syllabus and contents, you need, you can go to this Microsoft study guide where they have told all these things in, you know, in detail. Talking about, I think someone talked about the retake policy. It's mentioned somewhere here. Uh, just a second, somewhere in this page itself is mentioned. A very important thing, which is, you know, uh, slightly different power automate. In other tools, you know, you have questions and for every question you get, you get uh, points, right? Slightly twisted way in Power Automate. Microsoft has you know, mentioned that, you know, they uh, don't tell explicitly that, you know, which question would be scored, which question would not be scored. So there might be some questions in your test, which not, might not be scored, but you won't get to know by, by reading the question or there won't be any, what do you say, indicator on the question that, okay, this is just for, you know, uh, analysis purpose. You won't be awarded points for that. I know slightly twisted way, but yeah. That's how Microsoft has designed the exam. Now there is a negative marking and uh, 
for every correct point you will be getting you know one point but yeah it's not like that that uh, the minimum score is 700 out of 1000 so 70 percent but it's not like that that you will be you know you will have to select 700 different questions to get single point for all of them does not work that way some questions might might be you know scored in a different way which microsoft does not clearly tell that how they are you know doing that calculation in the background but the minimum score they have specified is 70 percent which is 700 points out of thousand so there are different sections in the score okay one might be case study one might be you know uh, different section which deals with a different component of the tool so they so they all are you know uh, pointed differently and nowhere on the side i could i could find that microsoft clearly stated that okay this would be quite this question would be uh, you know pointed in this way it's not clear and they have kind of you know kept it opaque but yeah sorry that's how the certification is designed for bp for example you get points for every you know correct answer and there is a negative marking same here there but this is something which slightly different you know i found in power automate uh, pl500 not all exam questions are scored and how they are scored slightly opaque guys in simple words that means that you know you have to attempt all the questions you can't leave any question any queries here any queries question 